Previously on Follow the Frog, schoolies from across the country settled in for a week of celebrations. Happy Red Frogs teams have been in full swing and as the week rolls on, they continue to support the schoolies through whatever situation they find themselves in. In WA, teams are cooking up a storm and keeping leavers hydrated as they flock to the beaches to take advantage of the sunny conditions. We're looking forward to seeing them again in the zone tonight and partying with them after a great day to meal up beach party. Back on the Gold Coast, we check in with South Zone leader Darren. Yeah, so one of the things I guess we start to see about this halfway point is that people's schoolies experience um, may not have been all that it was cracked up to be. Uh, and so they've gone pretty hard, they've tried to get the thrills, get the excitement, um, but they're feeling probably a bit unfulfilled. Just got a call coming from admin. Uh, there's a guy who uh, is with the team at the moment, which is good news. Uh, he's taken five ecstasy pills. So they're on their way uh, up now to ATC uh, to get help. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna meet them at Cavalav just to provide that support and care for the team and also for the schoolie, just uh, to keep an eye on him. He's in a good place at this point in time, uh, but if anything were to change, we've got a good team there ready to support him. So the trams will head up, they'll meet us at Cav, and uh, we'll see them there, just outside Coffee Club. While down the coast, Byron Bay takes a much more relaxed approach to schoolies. I wanted to come to Byron Church. The vibes are good. Location leader Pete is at the Byron Hub preparing his team for the night ahead. The response so far is looking, it's actually running pretty smoothly. I mean, I couldn't ask for a better team. A lot of the guys from the Gold Coast have come down to help out this year. And uh, as far as stats say, it's running pretty smoothly. Um, it's actually really healthy. A lot of the kids are um, partying safe. The need for Red Frogs continues on the okay, Gold Coast as I'm Shannon is called in, in to mediate a relationship breakdown between no, two I'm female coming. schoolies. So. How's it going? Like what I want to do tonight is like get you both to a place where you can just say, all right, let's, let's swap rooms, let's do this. Like, you, we, can, we don't have to make be f best friends again yeah. or anything. It's just like, how are we going to live out the rest of this week if we're annoyed with each other, frustrated with each other? Schoolies week might not be the best time to try and resolve our friendship, but how are we going to live with each other? We'll see what tomorrow brings, but I'm really confident that tonight <laughs> <they're> <laughs> they've, um, we've, we've done as much as we can do. We've mediated between them and yeah, one's moving room to another friend's room. So yeah, that's sometimes the best we can do. Over in Bali, the number of school leavers are increasing, making for a busy night ahead for the Red Frogs teams. This is uh, the start of our fourth year of doing Red Frogs up in Bali. This year we've got 30 workers with us, uh, going to spend the next week serving a generation of young people. We're expecting around about somewhere between three and 6,000 schoolies coming up here for Schoolies Week and uh, Leavers Week this, this year. Back on the Gold Coast, we'll we back. check in with we'll South Zone leader you. Darren. All right, just stick to the left of Coffee Club. Darren has now made contact with this team and they escort yeah, the schoolie to the ambulance triage centre. What have you, you, you been getting up to tonight? Yeah, he'll be fine. It's just good for him to actually be in a space where he's got the support. Just trying to think, like, what would happen if he didn't have that? I don't know, keep that eh? What happens if he's, yeah, he goes through that whilst, um, yeah, he's on this environment. Good that we're there. Uh, it's a little bit tachycardic, his blood pressure is high, but it's not too bad. Um, the effect should wear off in about four hours or so. It's been in his system for about two hours. That's what happens when you take five ecstasy pills at once. We've got a guy from Queensland Health now speaking to him, uh, talking him through, um, yeah, discussing what that looks like for him, uh, what he's been thinking, what he's been feeling and just assessing him basically just to see whether he's going to be at risk to himself tonight because their well-being is what we're about. 
next time on Follow the Frog. We just got a call through from a schoolie and he has been evicted from his hotel. WA leavers are in full swing as the frog is finding his groove. While in Bali, school leavers are succumbing to the effects of too much partying.